Hi everyone, my name is Kincaid Day. I'm the Director of Product Management here at CloudWords, and today I'll be walking you through the CloudWords for InDesign experience. CloudWords, as you know, is a localization or globalization automation platform that easily allows marketers to deliver their translated content at speed and scale, all the while avoiding the need for any copy and paste that we all might be used to today. In order to start a project, what you're going to do is go ahead and select Start New and Start New Project. From here, give it a name, Go ahead and select your department, and then also your intended use. Select next. And then we're gonna go ahead and select our source materials. In this case, we're gonna select local files. The local file that you'll be uploading, of course, is an InDesign package um, produced from InDesign directly. So if I go ahead and share my screen here, we'll see that if I open up one of the exported packages, it will include an INDD, an IDML, as well as the links and fonts. All you need to do is go ahead and zip that create a source file out of it, and then that's what we'll go ahead and upload here to CloudWords. Select the upload button. I'll go ahead and drag and drop that file directly into CloudWords. Just one moment here. Let's go ahead and select the source file. Just drag and drop. We're gonna hit upload, give it a moment to process. And then once it's done processing, we're gonna see that we have an InDesign tag that appears right next to the asset. Okay, hit close. There's that InDesign tag con confirming that the file has been successfully uploaded. And then let's go ahead and configure our languages. Just like any of our other asset types, no limitation to the number of languages that you can select. Typically during onboarding, we go ahead and we configure your languages so it's um, aligned with your organization. I'm just gonna do the one for the sake of the example. I'm then gonna hit next. It's gonna go ahead and select a translation request. I'll go ahead and select external vendor. I have a bunch of machine translation engines available here for my selection. However, all of your preferred vendors would be listed in your CloudWords instance. If you'd like to receive a bid or a quote, you'd go ahead and select yes or no. I'll go ahead and select no for the sake of the demo. Select my vendor, enter in a due date for when I'd like those translations to be delivered, hit next. And then last step is to configure your workflow. Of course, the workflow is the translator work is when the LSP or your translation agency is translating the content. And then that internal review, which we can create as many as these steps as needed, is where your reviewer will actually review the content. I'm gonna select the workflow. We'll see that I have a drop down here for the language. Scroll up, find a preferred vendor, give it a due date, remove a couple of my followers here and then finish and request the translation. At this point, your project's been created. The content will then be submitted to your vendor for translation, which will happen outside of the platform. And then once the content has been translated and delivered, they will deliver it here in the CloudWords and you'll see we'll generate a full in-context preview experience. Our integration is directly with InDesign Server, which allows for you to see your translated content. You can easily hide your source if needed as well, so you can just focus on that translated asset. And then to make any edits, you can see here, a colleague of mine went ahead and made an edit, capitalizing CloudWords as a word. You come up here, hit Actions, hit Approve. And at this point, we'll then go ahead and create a brand new translated word, uh, excuse me, InDesign uh, document for you to review and then to go live to your markets. Thanks again for your time. Please reach out if you have any questions.